Oh, I should have put the light on, but it's okay. Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? We're here today. John and I are here today to review Wakanda Forever. Um, and this is like, they took on the tough task of uh, doing the sequel to Black Panther after, even after uh, the star Chadwick Boseman passed away. Right. Yeah. And of course, introducing Namor, the Submariner, yeah. to the Marvel Universe. Now, I was reading up a little bit of him when you were in from earlier. Yeah. He, uh, his first appearance was in Marvel's predecessor, Timely Comics, yeah. back in 1939. Wow. He was one of the big three back then. It was him, Captain America, and the Human Torch, who was not a human. He was an android. Mm -hmm. So those were like the big three back then. Oh, cool. Yeah, and I thought I read he he's considered to be the first anti-hero in comics. Oh, anti-hero? Yeah. Because, you know, he's, he started off in, in comics, I think, as a bad guy, and then yeah. he kind of kind of a good guy, yeah. but more of an anti-hero. Yeah. Um, I thought, it was, I mean, they did a lot with the grieving process as far as, like, right. losing the start. I mean, I thought it was a good setup for the start of the show, a good, like, uh, rest in peace video throughout the movie, which is still action-based. I mean, he had like some heartfelt moments of his passing. Right. Towards like <laughs> the beginning and then towards the end, uh, there's a mid credit scene, a scene and, but however, there's not an end credit scene. It's the very end, because usually there's, they have a mid credit and they have an end credit scene, but there wasn't an end credit scene on this one. Um, I thought it was really good. Yeah. I, I, I didn't think it was as good as the first Black Panther, but it was still pretty good. Yeah. Um, I still enjoyed it. Uh, I said a lot of action, a lot of good stuff. Julie Weed Dreyfus was in it too. Most of your favorite characters from the first one. Yeah, yeah, for the all. first one, not everybody, but I mean, yeah, I, I really had a good time watching it. It's very entertaining. It's on now stream on Disney Plus. Um, yeah, I give it a eight out of ten. Oh yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I yeah, I, I had a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of action and stuff. I mean, I, I mean, it's really good. I mean. I don't think it had, there was some humor, I think there was more humor in the original one. Right. But I think the uh, thing were a little bit more serious because of the passing of the guy. Right. And then, I mean, there was some humor, but not as much as the other ones. But it's a lot of fun. I mean, like I said, I give it 8 out of 10. I, I mean, I guess that's it for uh, everybody. Until next time, please, take care of my allegiance. If they ever did a crossover, I'd love to see Aquaman versus uh, Submariner. That would be pretty cool. And Aquaman came out a few years later. A few years later. Yeah. Because, like, DC and Marvel were competing. I don't even know. And ripping each other off. <laughs> yeah. Really, uh, oh, yeah. And ripping like that, other though. people off. Too. Yeah, too. Not oh, just but, each other, but they ripped off other comics. Oh, yeah. But it's just the nature of the beast, I guess, back then, especially. So. <laughs> and, they were, I mean, they were riding whales. They didn't have any great white sharks, like, in uh, Aquaman. So, I mean, that's. The the whale stuff was cool too, or like the killer whales or the um, or the humpback whales too. They I think they're riding too. I know they're doing like uh, orca whales and the humpbacks. I think, but it's pretty neat. So, hope you like this review, everybody. Till next time, please. What up? <laughs> what? <laughs> it said what up? Oh yeah. Or, uh, oh yeah. Tiger. Oh yeah yeah yeah. What up? What hump? <laughs> one hump or two. Take care of my legion. All right, good.